Hello and welcome back to another episode of Huna Shed and episode 5 of Project TZL Wiring Loom. Um, <clears throat> I went up to see some good friends over the weekend and made some inquiries about what to do with the air box. And I was given some advice that on a 125, on a small two stroke engine, you really want a proper air box rather than a pod fill or something to do with regulating the air fuel mixture. If you haven't got it set up properly with a, like a little pod filter, then you can melt your engine, or words to that effect. So we're not going ahead with that one. Um, but I found somewhere else to locate it, so I'll show you that in a second. I had did a couple of extra hours of just running some cables up and down the bike, which I didn't video because it was just boring. Um, but I've got to reroute those now because I had routed those through to where the new fuse, the, the fuse box and the relays were going to be sat underneath the tank, but that's all moved. So stick around, stay tuned, and let's see what we can get done today. So here we are back in the dark side of the garage. I need to get some more light in here. So here we have the cables run down at the front, and then they run through the bike, and this tray at the back, there used to be a tool kit in here, and this tray at the back is where I'm going to be putting the fuse box and the relays. So I'm going to take this out for ease of access, there's only a couple of bolts. Take this off so I can get in here, but this is where I'm going to be mounting the fuse box and the relays in this section here. So I've had to run all the cables up to the back, and they're all labelled, so I know what they do. So just more of that today really. So there is nothing going there, it's just going to be the air box. So there we go, so let's crack on. Right, so at the end of the day, the fuse box is in-ish. I know it's going in here. Apparently, the, pre the correct way to do this is get the bike sorted and then do the electrics. However, the problem that I've got at the moment is, there's the engine casings, getting this lacquer off is a pain in the backside. I've tried nitro more, so I've tried with the Dremel and it's just labour intensive and it does begin to grate after a while. So to stop myself from losing too much interest in the project and to keep something going, I thought I'd tackle the electrics. Now I know that this is where everything's going to. Um, so I've left some extra lengths of cable. Yes, I've attached the connectors, but again, there's extra cable, I can cut it down if need be, I've left myself a get out clause or four. Um, and it's just something that I want to keep, I just want something to keep the uh, the project going. So I've got everything connected up, relays for the power, yada yada yada, or indicators. So here I've got the two feeds, this is the one, the main feed for the loom that goes up to the uh, kill switch. And this is the feed for the headlamps for the relays so it has been a bit jiggery popey i was as you know going to put something in here but i've been told that keep the air box two strokes need a good air box so and it's advised mount everything in there so that's what i'm doing so now what i have to do is because i'm adding a fuse box where there wasn't one before i've got a certain amount of fuses that i can use so i've got the main loom coming in and going out there. Um, this is the one for the uh, headlights, the space. Then I've got the one for the indicator. So I've got three more. This one is going to be taken up by the tail light and the part of the side light because they go on together on the same circuit. So at the moment I'm just getting my head around how to wire that one in because that one never had a fuse either. So I've got to wire the tail light and that one into the fuse box. So I've got to run a length of cable up there, back down there to get the power. I think I'm still working it out. I shall take the wiring diagram to work with me and have another think about it. Well, here we are, another episode of Hoonan's Shed. Um, I'm not too sure about these videos because I don't, it's a pain in the backside getting it. I don't have a tripod, I do everything through, the, uh, through my mobile phone. And I have m made up some wooden stands that I can put the phone into to hold it to put it in various places so that you can see what I'm doing. But getting that set up takes a lot of time and I don't have a lot of time. So there's not, you're not getting a lot of video footage of me doing all the boring stuff, which I'm quite thankful for. It's just sort of updates as, as I'm going. But with limited time, it does make it kind of short. And I am a little bit worried that I'm not getting enough in, but I'll wait for some feedback from you guys on that one. 
But there we go. I'm quite enjoying actually doing the wiring. It's a, you do spend a lot of time staring at wiring diagrams going, right, right. <laughs> but it's quite therapeutic actually. It's amazing how much time it eats up. I mean, I've been in here now three hours and you look at it and you go, is that all I've done? It's amazing how much time it does chew up. But it's quite, like I said, it's quite therapeutic. It's quite nice sitting out here, radio on, just sitting out having to think. I don't get to do it too often. <laughs> right, so that's episode five of Project TZR Wire Relief. Like I said, I know that you're supposed to put the engine in and da 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 before you do the electrics. But I know where everything's running. Everything where I think I might need, if I've got tons of cable, I can leave extra. It's not a problem. The only concern I've got at the moment is how to connect everything up around the, the headlight um, and splice it all in and everything else and how to make it look nice and tidy up there. So that's another one I've got to look into. So it'll probably be another evening or afternoon in a garage studio, scratching my chin, wondering how I'm going to connect all that up and make it look a half decent job and nice and tidy and make sure it doesn't catch when you're turning the bars. So there we go. Episode 5, Project Wiring Loom, uh, Project T's at our Wiring Loom. Um, yeah, time for me to go to work and earn some money so I can pay for all of this. <laughs> right, I'll see you on the next one. Ride safe, take care and yeah, be careful. The salt's down the, it's going down to zero tonight with the temperature so ride safe people.